While in Huntsville today, Congressman Brooks visited the Youth Art Month exhibit at the Huntsville Museum of Art. Artwork from students in kindergarten all the way to high school were on display. The congressman met with students and also presented some special awards. Our Kelly Kennedy went to the exhibit and tells us more. Youth Art Month is held in March every year to promote our education in the United States. And today the galleries are packed with students and their families. These kids are, are marvelous in their creativity and it's a pleasure to be with them, to meet with them, to interact with them and to see what they've put forth. The kind of artwork in the exhibit ranges from paintings to graphic design to photography, and the inspiration behind the pieces vary too. The reason why I chose this, I thought of black and white, dark, mysterious, everyone is drawing landscapes, why not add a car into the landscape? I like drawing and testing out different things. I have a collection of unicorns and one of my unicorns look like that, so. Today, Congressman Mo Brooks presented Laura Mays as the winner of the Congressional Art Competition. Over time, a train of thought kind of spiraled into a deeper idea and it came into being this. It exhibits uh, three coffee mugs and it has to do with seeds of emotion and you've got different things growing out of the mugs depending on the emotion that is being represented. I'm really honored to see that how much everybody has appreciated it and especially Congressman Brooks and to get the honor of the Congressional Award, it just means so much to me. For more information and to see more artwork, download the Rocket City Now app. Putting the Valley First, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News. And if you want to see the winning piece of art in person, it'll be on display at the Huntsville Museum of Art until April 28th. And then it will be off to Washington, D.C. to be displayed at the Capitol for a year.